what's up YouTube it's Kim and I wanted to give an update on my polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS also as it's known I know a lot of women who watch this channel and also are in the weight loss community have this terrible syndrome and it's been a while since I've touched on it so I wanted to give an update it's been a really really um, tough I would say eight months, the last eight months have been really tough. Like for starting eight months ago, probably for um, four months in a row, my period. Oh yeah, let me preface this by saying any men watching this, just turn it off. You, you, don't, you don't need to know all this <laughs> unless your wife's dealing with it. Um, so yeah, the li so for four months in a row or even five months in a row, my period was like three weeks straight. I mean, straight bleeding, heavy clotting, and I just dealt with it, you know? But I got to the point where I was like, okay, you know, enough is enough. So I made an appointment with a reproductive endocrinologist um, because they're supposed to specialize in PCOS. Um, they also specialize in helping women get pregnant. So the reproductive endocrinologist that I saw was at a, um, you know, a fertility clinic. So he was definitely more focused on wanting to get me pregnant. And that's what everybody goes there for. So I don't blame him. Um, but he really wasn't, I really just wanted to up like my metformin, see if that would help. And also I was curious about possibly moving, you know, into infertility treatments. But after seeing everything that was involved, I mean, I got a paper, you know, like a foot long with everything I would need to do. Just going to a high risk pregnancy specialist because I'm, you know, over a certain amount. I'd have to go to my regular doctor to get clearance. I'd have to go for tests and just the daily um all the blood work that's needed the monitoring I have severe anxiety when it comes to getting my blood work done because they just have always ever since I'm a kid just always have to stick me several times to get a vein so that's like always when I get blood work it's like my worst nightmare so I, I talked to my husband and we just decided not to move forward with that um for now so it kind of was a wasted appointment you know I had an internal sonogram and it just was unfortunately a wasted appointment. So I all I really wanted was to up my metformin because I was only on 500 milligrams a month and I wanted to up it to 1,000. But he said, you know, he couldn't do that because, I don't know, I guess he wasn't going to be my doctor, you know, long term. So I called my OB who is awesome and because I had just seen him the week before and he actually is the one who referred me to that reproductive endocrinologist so he was able to prescribe me the thousand milligrams of the metformin so I've been doing that now I think like three or four months um so period has gotten much better so I'd say after those four months of it being three weeks, then the next month it was like two weeks, then the next month it was like two weeks again, then last month it was a week and a half, and this month my period was only a week long. So that is just amazing. Like <laughs> when you've been dealing with having your period for weeks on end it's like I you know I joke with Lori like you'll find me like skipping through the tulips oh like I'm so excited to not you know have my period and have to wear um feminine products so also what's cool is I'm in the 240s now and when I got pregnant with my daughter I was in the 240s so I guess my body's just, you know, really loving the weight loss, getting more regulated, and things are, you know, getting back on track. So for anybody out there dealing with PCOS, first of all, I'm so sorry because it's horrible, 
But the most important thing you can do for yourself is to get your weight under control. Now, most women with PCS do best with a lower carb diet. That I know. For myself, I cannot um, handle a low carb diet. So luckily, I found Weight Watchers and in the past year and a half, I've lost 72 pounds on Weight Watchers. Now with the new Smart Points program, it's definitely more lower carb friendly. It focuses on protein and veggies. So I've definitely been eating more protein. I still eat carbs. I mean, you know, and I'm still able to lose weight. So for anyone out there with PCOS, just try to get your weight under control. Lowering your weight will definitely help with um, hopefully getting your track, you know, your cycle back on track. So right now, things are much better, much, much better. I've been taking that thousand milligram. My body's used to it. I'm not having as many bathroom problems. And we're just gonna, as far as, you know, trying for baby number two, we're gonna keep trying, um, and see what happens. So that's where I'm at with my PCOS. It's much better thanks to my weight loss and... Yeah, we're just going to keep trying for baby number two. So we will see what happens. But I just wanted to update you guys. It's bit, it, was bit, it was rough, but it's much better now. So thank God for that. And anyone out there struggling with PCOS, just keep fighting the good fight. And if anyone has any questions about my struggle, my journey with PCOS, I'd be happy to answer any questions down in the comments below. And as always, stay fit and fabulous. Bye.